So this React.js Next.js website has been created and fully generated using ChatGPT and ChatGPT only. Yes, you're hitting it right. All of this website from start to finish from like the new arrivals, the products, the keyboards, the feature sections down to the footer has been generated only using ChatGPT. So if you're wondering how can you do that and how can you use the power of ChatGPT and is it even possible to create something like this using ChatGPT? Well, let's find out. So if you've been hearing about ChatGPT literally everywhere and seen videos. So here's what I did with ChatGPT. I picked up ChatGPT and actually tried to put it into a real world test where I actually give it full instructions for like developer instructions and seeing if ChatGPT can actually cope with the instructions provided and actually provide some creativity into the side to build an actual React website with Next.js, Tailwind from zero to an, like an actual website. And a quick spoiler, yes, it did it. And actually this is a website that has been created using ChatGPT, obviously using some guidance from me and actually been able to build this really awesome website using React, Next.js and Tailwind. You can see the products of the, like the keyboards we, we be selling here with like pricing and everything. If you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see all the features that we you know have or our keyboard actually are uh, having compared to other keyboard brands. And last but not least, it's just a simple footer in here, as you in here. So to start in here, I tried to get started by just providing some context of what we're gonna build throughout you know the whole kind of project. So I started by saying, oh, we wanna create a React.js up using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. That wasn't really, uh, it doesn't have really a lot of details. So he tried to give me some instructions, which obviously didn't want. So afterward, I reword my actual, you know, instructions and everything and actual prompt. We did like, we want to create a React.js up using Next.js, Tailwind CSS. I'm going to give you more details in the upcoming prompt. And this told the chat GPT about the, oh, I'm going to give you more details. I'm just telling you this, like I'm giving you a heads up. So this is actually we're going to do uh, memorize that and everything. And this is really, really interesting part of the bot itself. So the first thing I started with is actually creating some navigation bar. So what I did is actually trying to describe as precisely as possible about the navigation bar and how it would look like the layout and everything. But what I found about this one is actually when you precisely describe everything to the bot, it's going to give you absolutely amazing results and it's going to give you exactly what you wanted uh when with the precise in here is actually went really good well. for example i said like a I have a nav bar, that white background with a with a light drop shadow at the bottom, and I, I want to make like the nav bar contains three flex box sections, uh, and all sections are evenly spaced out. I have like I told him even like what the URLs like keyboards, keycaps, and accessories, and also told him like what is the icon that it needs to be used, like the shopping cart icon color in black and changes color to gray when hovered by mouse, all the transitions and everything. So this actually indeed tells you that, oh for interacting and telling exactly the bot what needs to do to, in order to build you and give you actually the code that is going to be generated you need to first be familiar with exactly what you're doing so you at least need to have some knowledge uh, as a developer and if you take a look at that I actually started from the scratch so he started actually oh you don't have a next.js application so i'm going to show you how to create an next.js application so you give you all the commands that you need to run first you have to install tailwind css how to go ahead and put tailwind css with a custom configuration generated by the bot which i was super happy about and i went through in here actually another edit so what i really like about the bot is actually has like a memory so whatever you provide it before it's always going to be in, in its memory and when you try to give them like more instructions later on it always going to remember exactly what it did before so you try to start from there and actually you know provide you exactly what you provide for example in here oh can you make the navigation bar a bit higher and space the sections with an in-between as well as making the logo clickable it actually gave me that with those edits which is super nice so if you go back in here is this exactly what is the last result i have in here excuse me the urls i provided all of them when i hover over them i get that as well as the cart icon in here currently i'm in the home page as well so yeah. So if you jump into our projects in here, excuse in here, these actually the sections that has been generated, for example, for the nav bar has generated like a separate component. Um, excuse in here, this is actually everything. It gives you like a standalone component. But here, what it did is actually really well because it provided everything. It even provided the link because he knew that we were using Next.js. So he provided the link from Next.js. That was pretty good. One teeny tiny thing, because chatbots or the chat GPT has been trained on data from 2021 and before 
before. So anything happened after 2021 from like 2022 and 2023, it doesn't know about that. So the new version of Next.js, which I'm currently using, is Next.js 13. And Next.js 13 has been released in 2022, which the chat GPT doesn't know about that. So if you go to the link in here, it tries to use the code that is linked to the previous version, the version 12. So I needed to provide this legacy behavior in order to do the compatibility with the old code in here to make it work. So the next thing I need to actually, or wanted to build is actually these new keyboards. So what I did is actually try to go through and actually provide as much details as possibly could to get the, you know, a, fi a good final result. So I did like create a new project section where products is playing as cards and have like a, a new title, like the top left title in here is new arrivals and it should have three products per row and multiple rows and have spacing both horizontally and vertically. Uh, also like the card component that is going to render. Also provide like the aspect ratio of the current image in here. Um, also like provide everything like the simulable fonts of the text, the black color, uh, display the rating using five star rating, I literally went through everything is actually this is actually what it meant. Um, also, I generated all of these, it didn't generate the images just do not confuse you because the code in here that generated excuse me has some placeholder images, which was really, really good as well, because it gave you placeholder images from an actual URL. So you can later on swap those images with real ones, which I did in here swap them with real keyboard images. But I actually did a really decent job with the code. So if we look into this, this is a component, it's called products, I put it inside of the products. And what it did in here is actually created two, I created a separate product card, because that's exactly what I told it to do. So that's why I created this new products card for us separate from the actual products list. And it's doing a map, it's rendering the product card, it's literally doing what you would do in a real world scenario. And that leads us to our today's sponsor, Scribe. Scribe is a really nice free tool that allows you to actually create instructions and documentations or pretty much anything you want to create an instruction for and actually share it with your colleagues, with your friends or your team, or maybe just create it for a reference for your future self. Scribe allows you to do exactly that in a super, super easy way. So let's say, for example, you want to show your colleague how you got this really awesome result and this really awesome like products links in here and this really awesome website by just providing specific details. I want to share it with them in those specific details so you can follow up and create the same thing using, of course, ChatGPT in here. So all you got to do is go to Scribe, install you know, as a Chrome extension in here. You go ahead and start recording. You hit start recording. You're going to find this one in here. That means, oh, you started recording. You can take as much time as you want. So here you can type, for example, oh, I want to go ahead and use ChatGPT. So you need to follow the instructions that you want to create. So for example, oh, I want to click the first link and go click on try ChatGPT. And that by itself is going to take me to sign up or log in. I'm, for example, going to go ahead and log in. And here I need to enter my email so I can you know, go continue with Google or something. And for example, you want them like to follow the instructions. So for example, you go here, type, oh, build, uh, for example, React uh, using Tailwind CSS, for example. And you hit enter. And that's actually all you're going to do is, for example, here, when it provides you that, everything is going to be put and memorized and all the instructions are going to be created for you magically using scribe. So now all you got to do is go back to this recording here, or you can go to the session itself, you click on like complete recording, and this will go ahead and create for you a brand new scribe. And it's going to take you to this newly magically created scribe for you, where all the instructions they've just did, all of them are provided in here in a really nice way. For example, it tells you, oh, you need to first navigate to google.com, you go ahead and click enter in the search in here, go to chat GPT, and actually zooms in exactly to the section that you need. And this is actually going to tell the user exactly where to click and how to follow. And you can add pages, you can duplicate, you can do a lot, a lot of stuff, and you can just manage this however you want. So you want to try and get started with Scribe, you can use a link down description below personalized for Coder 1 particularly, and you can start using it right away for free. And one thing I found an issue is actually when you try to do this rating component, it didn't give me a really good rating component, it gave me a rating component that it was able to change. For example, in here it's actually it's doing like hover. So when you try to hover on the stars in here, it allows you to select how many stars, but it didn't understand that I want this only for display, not for like actually choosing or putting a rate. So I tried to make it understand so many times like the rating and the rating component should only call the rating starts from a predefined value. And I think only after that I actually understood and it gave me what I wanted. Now, when it comes to the footer, because I generated the footer 
before the features section in here. So what I did is actually, oh, can you generate a minimal footer uh, that is inspired by GitHub's footer? It should have white background, yada, yada, yada. The footer should be, uh, have the keyboarder logo created before, it has privacy policy, terms of service and copyright, yada, yada, yada. It gave me a footer, but it didn't give me a really good layout. So I tried to ask it to change the footer layout to be more horizontal. And this is actually what I ended with. Uh, also, I didn't like the border, so I asked it again to go ahead, oh, there's too many borders, please make it minimal, make sure to include um, the keyboard or logo we created before. And this is actually what I really loved about it because it knew that we already created a logo that's called a like, keyboarder that has like the R in, in cyan, that is different color screws in here. So I tried to, you know, go ahead and tell it to do that without specifically telling it what the logo is. And it did it. Actually, it gave me the span in here, so it uses the span. It did it with the R in cyan, which is super amazing. And it copied the footer, and this is actually what it got. Just copy pasting it, this is what I got. And it included some icons even, like a GitHub and everything, and made them interactive. And it pretty much did the same thing with the landing section in here, which is, I found the hardest one to describe is actually the landing section. It wasn't an easy because it, most of the times you can't provide it with images. So you need to go ahead and use your own images. It can give you like placeholders, but obviously you need to swap them with your own images. Like 99% of the times you would need to position the image correctly for the design to make it work. So you gotta actually change some code in order, in order to make this work. But other than that, everything works perfectly. It gave you everything. It gave me this description of our brand that specializes in creating the best keyboards, yada, yada, yada. It works well. And speaking of generating really nice text that is specifically made out for your website and for your context, we jump to this features section, which I just ask it, oh, I want some features section that showcases features of our keyboards. And I can show you that real quickly in here. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. So, so this is actually what I did for the feature section. So let's add some feature sections that comes below the products uh, that should showcase a list of great features of keyboard and what makes them stand out and better compared to other keyboard brands. This section should list key features and qualities with good icons from the React icons library. And you guessed it right. Yes, it gave me an absolutely stunning, amazing results, but obviously, I need to add some edits in here like, oh, I want to make the features like two per row and have bigger icons. And it just went through back and forth like three times and it gave me exactly what I needed. Just said thanks and, and that's it. And I copied. This is actually what I ended up with. Everything has been generated. I haven't touched that one. It just copy paste and it works really well. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys actually can go ahead and pick up now ChatGPT with some precise instructions and create your first awesome React website.